It is one of the strangest tales ever told. It deals with the two great mysteries of creation, life and death. I think it will thrill you. It may shock you. It might even horrify you. So if any of you feel that you do not care to subject your nerves to such a strain, now is your chance to... Uh, well, we warned you. became suddenly unreal, as if in a dream, unreal, as if in a dream, as my brain seemed to be held in the grip of a giant pipe. And then she takes this, like, industrial belt sander, you know, and remember we're both naked, and I'm like, foo ha ha Christ, Dick, we're live! Oh, I'm on? Camera one! Mm -mm -mm. Yes. Hello, I'm Dick Cummings, and welcome to TV. 24 hours of quality cable programming in minutes. We even channel surf for you so your thumb won't get tired. It's got suspense. It's got drama. And wait. Oh, excuse me. It's interactive, big fucking deal. Bullshit. Okay, so, Ben, let's talk. Your ass a rodent. I believe you have something to tell your woman, Belle. Let's hear it now. I'm here, you're here. Go. Belle, now you know I love you, right? But there are some things your big daddy needs that you ain't never gonna do for my back door. You would stick that hairy thing in your mud button, you son of a bitch! You motherfucking um, faggot! Knock, knock, someone's not paying attention. Randy likes rodents up his ho-ho, not mancock. So, Mr. Nibbles, how long have you been uh, with Ben? <sighs> I've been in the attic there for about two months now. Pete's dumpster diving. <laughs> sure, but now you're diving into a rectum. Lots more food in there. Corn, swallow gum. Can't believe me. Compared to my day job, it's a lot less dangerous. What in the name of doing? Well, the time is up on the limited edition Titanic Samurai Swords, complete with braided sheath made from faux Leo DiCaprio pubic hair. Nothing says, I'm the king of the world, like a razor-sharp sword in your hand, right, Yang? Why <laughs> so good? All right, next up we've got some kick-ass broadswords based on religious leaders throughout history. This is a divine gift for anyone. And if you don't collect swords, wow, what a way to start! You'll have a dream, too, when you see this Martin Luther King Jr. imitation sword of peace. No hunky will deny you of your civil rights when you're wielding this biatch. You'll feel infallible with this beautiful Pope John Paul II sword with Vatican scabbard. The choir boy's eyes will go wide when they see this one swinging under your robe. <laughs> Achieve serenity and get just a little closer to Nirvana when you're toting the badass Buddha broadsword. Just send in the 6995. Oi, vey. This beautiful handcrafted Moses sword will let you get Old Testament on anybody's arse. Thou shalt not do without this sword! And now the jewel in the crown of this collection, that's right, the JC Superstar Sword. This sword's construction is so heavy duty, you could use the handle alone to drive nails through anything. The Jesus Christ Long Sword will have you singing Hallelujah! This baby is so popular, it won't hang around forever. <laughs> yes, yes. Look, Yang, the GC superstar is so divine, 
It's ascending into heaven all on its own. I guess we know what old JC thinks of Shintoists. <laughs> oh, mon dear! That reminds me, always wash your hands before dinner. <laughs> Okay, cats and kittens, today we're going to talk about how plants turn the sun's groovy energy into groovy, or good-ass stuff like food. This process is called photosynthesis. Can you say that word? Photosynthesis. Ah, good. Man, that's great. Now, to demonstrate this, I brought along Mr. Happy Plant. Now, Mr. Happy Plant has special powers, like the Dalai Lama. Ah, he can take the sunshine. Can you feel the sunshine, children? Mr. Happy Plant. Yeah, well, you can tell those cocksuckers at the Rump that I'm mad as hell and I'm not going to take it anymore. This shit is www.fucked. Fuck. I am a journalist, god damn it. Number one. <clears throat> so, well, uh, that's it for now. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn! This romp gig might not be so bad after all. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to TV. 24 hours of cable broadcasting... In minutes, I'm your host, Bitch Dickley. I'm your host, Dick Bitchley. Fuck! Can we take that again? <laughs> oh, that is product, baby. Hello and welcome back. Today, our author is really out of this world. How would you like to get revenge on anyone you like? Make someone fall in love with you instantly. Anything your pretty little heart desires. Isn't that right, Dr. Mombasa? Voodoo is not a guarantee of anything, Mr. Hall Shopping. It is an ancient religion with a tradition that dates back beyond recorded history. That's right. Guarantee that good things will come your way. No, this is not a game. Voodoo is not a toy. It is very serious. And we have some serious savings right here. I came here to educate, not to better trinkets. You're right. These aren't merely trinkets. They are treasures for the whole family. Here, you little idiot <coughs> man. I will show you a trinket. That's what I get for sleeping with the romp girl. Ah, oh. oh, 
now this is where it gets really interesting. Do you think I can pour all this magic Kool-Aid into this bottle? No! Wow! Well, that's why I'm Psychedelic Bob, and you are the kids. Both these bottles have the same volume. Can you guys say volume? Volume! Oh, ah, good. Real groovy. Now, trip on this. Cheese and crackers. Well, kids, I accidentally dosed myself with a lot of the magic Kool-Aid. And in a few seconds, I should be tripping my balls off. So, you see, kid, the uh, magic Kool-Aid is magic. But it's still got the same volume. Even though it's all over the desk. Ah! Hey, Jerry! Sugar. Could you play Sugar Magnolia? Increíble! Ouch! Que dolor! Está pegándole con un grande Hollywood! Debe tener un malo Charlie Horse allí! Dios mío! Ay, ay, ay! Not only is it good for you, it's a whole lot of fun. The clean bells equals the happy bells. Call out one go. Um, uh, am I on? Yeah, you talk now. What is it, honey? I just gave my boyfriend one. He threw up a few times and now he's not moving. Did you use water? He said it was more fun if we used whiskey. Oh, no, girlfriend. If you use straight liquor, it's hospital time. Or else you can wait until rigor mortis sets in and he'll be stiff for hours. <laughs> the enema is not the toy. Next, Carla! <gasps> Out and Z! Hi, this is Shantiqua, and I'm from Montica, California, and I love to water ski and cook methamphetamines. <laughs> yeah, most guys think I'm a real fireball. <laughs> my blonde hair is real, and I think that my dream vacation would take place on the beach of the Sacramento River. <laughs> Hi, this is Tamara Arena. My turn-ons include big furry bear rugs and model rocketry. I consider myself an open-minded free spirit, and I'm looking for a boyfriend that shares my passion for NASA, and who won't beat me, and that I'm not related to, or at least two out of three. Now, this is what we call spiking the tree. <laughs> mm, sweet Jane. Uh, I feed CNN in five, four, three. Fuck CNN. Ah, this is something we see every day. Started as a domestic and ends up as a high-speed chase. This wackle up here had better not hurt that little puppy, or he'll have the entire Glendale police force on his ass. The situation has escalated. His vehicle is stolen. We're taking this up to a code six four nine er. That means stolen track, sick dog. Okay, I'm seeing a name here, like it's like a name comprised of letters, like vowels or consonants or something like low, lo, Here, here, C could it be Louis? Yeah, that's what I said. You dumb bitch, fucking <laughs> broad. Now is he sleeping with the fishes, this guy? Yes. He was my husband. He died last week. That's right. Well, Louie wants you to know that he's here, but but that he knows you were sleeping with Charlie. Does any of this, like, make any sense here? And the most important thing to remember when restoring antiques, folks, is safety. You know what I'm saying? It's, like, so weird. Anyway, I I'm hearing from Louis right now. He's telling me that he's always loved you. Louis always hated me so much when he was alive. Well, it's just what I'm saying. It's like love, hate, love, hate relationship. It's like the same juju. You know what I'm saying? I'm hot. I got it, baby. Louis! Louis! <laughs> yeah, I'm on such a roll here. I'm like Mistratimus. Put down the dog and step away, scumbag. I swear I'll shoot this fucking dog. I'll put its brain all over the creek behind there on the bank. God damn it. I'm so sorry. I never would have done it if it hadn't been for the little people in the TV screaming at me. That's okay, son. Now slowly put the dog and the gun down. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!
This is Dick Cummings. I would like to interrupt this broadcast to speak with you about the disturbing outcome you just witnessed. Because we are interactive here at TV, we are going back to that disturbing footage to allow you, the user, to choose a different outcome. Yes, very good, very good. Hey, yo, you know, psychedelic bop. Ah, so some gases are lighter than air and some are heavier. Oxygen is the same weight as the air, so uh, the balloon doesn't float. Ah, ah, do you think this nitrous balloon will float? No! Ah, okay, well, you're half right. The balloon itself won't float. Oh, but I will. Won't I, Mr. Nibbles? Actually, Cindy, it takes no work at all. Just insert it into the waiting hole of the Bobco Juice Master 3000. Oh, wow. I can see the juice coming already. I can't wait to get all that rich liquid inside me. That's right, Sin. At first, it's just a little oozing trickle. But soon, there will be a... Oh, Sin. Oh. <clears throat> Hello again, and thanks for tuning in to Romps TV. Hope to see you next time. Dick, are you okay? Who the hell are they to tell me to cut back on my drug usage, whatever the hell that means? <laughs> Fucking romp, like they have room to talk. Come on, how high would you have to be to put this show on the air anyway? Jesus, Dick, camera one. <clears throat> oh, hello. Hello, I'm Dick Cummings. Welcome to TV Interactive. Today we have... You know what? Fuck it. <sighs> and guess what? You want me to drink less? I'm especially going to drink more. <laughs> I'm going to belly up to the bar and bend an elbow. <laughs> so put that in your romp bong and smoke it, you holier-than-thou pricks. Now watch the show. It's great. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. Now if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go get shit-faced. Happy viewing. Hey, kids. This is your friendly furry friend Grumbler here. Today we're going to play Which Shape is Different? This is going to be fun. Right, Fat Fowl? Oh, right, right. We're going to have fun and learn, too. Are you ready? Okay. <sighs> Grumbler says, point to the one that doesn't belong. On your mark. <coughs> Get set. Go. <whistles> oh, that's a circle. A circle's a shape. Get it? Jesus fucking Christ. You must be in the special class at school. Thinking is high. Try again. You picked the triangle. No! Wrong, wrong, fucking wrong! God damn it! It's not that difficult! It's okay. Your mommy probably dropped you when you were a baby. Keep trying. Oh, that one belongs. Don't make this hard for me. I live in a fucking garbage can, all right? You better get it right, or your mommy and daddy won't love you. Give it another try. Oh, that 
that's still wrong! I mean, what the fuck? Are you deaf and an idiot, or what? Try again! This time with your head out of your ass! Wrong again. Guess what? There is no right answer! They all belong. That's right! It was all just a setup to make you feel bad and look like a fool! Yeah, kinda like life. And remember to tenderize the meat before the preparation. Okay, we'll be right back after this message from our sponsor. Right? Right? Right, right, yes. My God, someone help me. Surgery is often a painful, expensive experience. But now all of that can change. How? With a new improved pocket surgeon. You can perform even the most complex procedures right in the comfort of your own home using the pocket surgeon and a simple-to-use chart. Thanks, Pocket Fisherman. Golly jeepers. Thanks, Pocket Fisherman. Have your credit card ready. Call now and we'll tell you the price. And I got a special treat for you guys today. Uh, a movie! Yay! That's right. Well, now we've covered electricity and natural gas. Ah, uh, but today we're going to study the most groovy energy source in the world. Do you know what that is, kids? Nuclear power! Not quite, but don't feel bad. The most powerful energy source in the world was discovered by myself and others in San Francisco in 1967. Do you know what it is now? LSD! Closer, kids, but you're wrong again. Kids, that energy was called love. Yeah. Uh, let's watch the movie. <laughs> Dr. Honeywagon, how long does the urine aqua 2000 take to produce fresh drinking water? The process is almost instantaneous. The urine aqua 2000 forces the urine through over 5,000 sheets of cheese cloth in seconds. It then hits the gooey tray and presto. Great. Charles, how does it taste? Okay, <laughs> today we are really going to cook with people. A delicious four-course meal using only one tasty human body. <laughs> the brain can be made into mouth-watering head cheese. Perfect for transmitting mad cow disease to your crude, non-French dinner guests. I spit on you, American swine. Ooh, the lovely liver. A scrumptious main course. Anyone for fava beans and a nice Chianti? <laughs> that cracks me up. Puree yeah! the legs, add shitloads of sugar, and you have created savory sweetmeats for a delectable dessert. In seconds, and I do mean seconds, dinner is ready to serve piping hot, mouth-watering, and delicious. You won't have time to set it and forget it, because it's done. <laughs> ah, shit. Stick, give him one. Huh? Oh, great. Well, guess what? Since you last saw me... My wife left me, my girlfriend left me, my shrink called and said I was a woman trapped in a man's body, and the Rob said I'm fired unless I check into rehab. So what can I say except, fuck you, fuck you all. <laughs> I'll never go to rehab. You hear me? Never. So unless the Rob sends some of their goons to drag me off the set, I'm staying right... <clears throat> oh, hello, boys. Oh, ow, ow, oh, 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 stop it! Oh, 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 oh the pain! Oh, oh, ow. All right. Rehab it is. Fuck! Oh, it was horrible. The behavior modification, electric shocks, the near constant beatings, actually administered by Betty herself. I'm telling you, getting sober blows. Stick, we're alive. Oh, great. Hello, Dick Cummings here. You know, why the hell do you always let me talk when you know we're on the air? Uh, because the romp wants it that way. Plus, I think it's kind of funny. I see, fair enough. Hey, the old Dick Cummings would have jumped over this desk and stuck his foot clean up your ass for that remark. 
but not the new me. Oh no! Hi, need someone to talk to? I'm waiting for you. I want to hear all about your big throbbing. Honey, dinner's ready. Okay, mom. I'll be down in a minute. Hey, you, here's your psychedelic Bob. All right, all right, quit your yapping. Bob couldn't be here today, so I'm here filling in. And you could call me Uncle Rocky. But where's Bob? He ain't coming, so stop you whining. Hey, once. what did I just say? <laughs> all right, then. Today we're gonna learn all about um. Gunpowder. Okay, you like guns, do you? <laughs> yes, smart kids. All right, guns are our friends, and the word gun is in the word gunpowder. You see, so you got your bullets, and, and you just put them in here. Oh, hey, how you doing, kids? What the hell, a rat? I'll kill you, you stinking varmint! <laughs> your dad'll teach you, you dirty old oh, shit. So what are you waiting for? Pick up the phone and. Sweetie, these dishes aren't going to do themselves. Mom, I'm trying to help people masturbate. All right, and our salute to psychedelic Bob continues. Bob, we've dug up a lot of old footage on your life, your lows, and your many, many highs. It's been a long, strange trip, that's for sure. Okay, let's take a look. I can fly, man! I can fly! This is far! Ah! You've led a wild life, Bob! No thanks! Ah! Not hungry! Tell us about your childhood. My childhood? Well, Mr. Giantfoot, I grew up on a farm and there were flowers in my hair. Pero Maria, mis ojos, mis ojos. Su ojo, mi ojo, Arturo, mi ojo. Ay, Maria, qué lástima. Quiero poquitos huevos, quiero poquitos huevos. We're interrupting our programming to bring you the latest on a giant rat that's terrorizing the city. Hmm. We don't know why he is giant or why he is smashing things. Whether he's smashing because he's giant or he's giant because he smashes. I'm no expert, but I'll bet that radioactivity is involved somehow. Oh, I almost forgot. The humanity! Oh, the humanity! <laughs> he seems to have stopped in front of a television station. Oh, oh, oh my God! Everything around me became suddenly unreal, as if in a dream. Unreal, as if in a dream, as my brain seemed to be held in its...